welcome back to the channel. Today it's Thursday and we're nearly at Christmas now and I've got to get the biomass ready for the Christmas year so we've got to fill up, fill up the hopper with wood chip and also we're sitting now in the teleport of the Manitou and uh, very kindly Manitou UK have sent us some goodies uh, so there's a prize you can win a bag of Manitou goodies uh, all you've got to do is comment in the comment section down below uh, who was the founder of Manitou originally what was the name of that person uh, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll choose a winner on Christmas Day and we'll send the goods out to you in the new year. So now we've got to go and fill up the hopper. We use the Manitou for it all the time at Christmas time because it's really important that it's filled up for the hot water for Christmas for everyone. So that's what we're doing today. It is absolutely freezing today on the farm, as I'm sure you can probably tell. Okay, right. Let's uh, load up the boiler. There we go, alrighty. I actually had the uh, morning off today and Dad fed the cattle today and I, uh, I went and got my hair cut. As you can see, I had a fresh trim. So that's where I've been this morning and then I've been building a flat, a flat pack piece of furniture for someone's Christmas present. And uh, yeah, back at it now this afternoon. So up the, the bouquet, the bucket. As you can see, the big chip bowls now uh, actually nearly run out. We're down to about, I'd say, 40 tonnes of chip left. So we're going to have to get some more chipped up in the new year. And I've got a trailer coming to transport the chip over the road this year, uh, which is a big 20 tonne rolling floor trailer, which is going to go on the 6930. Um, and that'll cart all the wood chip across all safely rather than bucketing it over. So that's what we're doing. Of course, with the problem being one of the doors is closed at the moment, the electrics on that door aren't working. We've got the electrician to come to look, have a look at that. So I'm going to drag some of this chip across in order to get the wood chip put in the hopper to keep everyone warm over Christmas. We've had this biomass boiler for about, I think about 12 years now and uh, it has done a fantastic job. So, it'll come out of here. We've got access, that's it. That's the handy thing about the 630. We've got compact dimensions. Just maneuver itself around the shed so easily. Um, of course, in the new year, we've got muck spreading, which will be in February time. I did try a Manitou MLA this year at the Manitou Road Show, which was awesome. Uh, the pivot steer model. And I've got the 741, there's a new uh, MLT 741 coming on demo next year, um, which we'll look at to go with the new shed. And then I might have a little go at some point again next year with the MLA, which is the articulated model, which is really cool. Uh, really enjoy driving that. I'd love to have a go with that mug spreading or doing some, some sort of heavy work with it, whether you're loading lorries or moving bales around at, har at harvest time in the summer, um, anything like that really would be a good, a, oh that dust out of there, would be a good test for it really, so I'll just put my aircon on. That's the trouble of course with the ship, it's currently about 18% moisture and uh, it, it can get a bit dusty, so, especially once you get some of the drier bits of the ship, but that's part of the job unfortunately. So the 6 nines now all ready, uh, it's just been cleaned off, it's got a few more Days cutting muck, and then it'll be off to the Larling Day bo Boxing Road, Boxing Day Road one at Belvedere, which is at the Larling Angel. For anyone who's going to go to that, it's off the A11. Uh, I was going to take the 6R, but I thought with the 6.9, it's just something a bit different. It's an old school tractor, and people might enjoy seeing that John Deere, so I thought we'll take that instead. Um, still, really do with a good wash, in all fairness get it washed off and get it ready for the show. All it needs is some Christmas decorations and we'll be ready to go really. So a different tractor at the show, at the road run. Um, I need to put a bit of air in one of its tires as well. So if I do break down with it, that's one of my concerns. We'll uh, have to get someone from the Larling Day with a load loader to cut it back home. And of course that is always one of the issues. Someone calling me now. I've got the Bluetooth in this Manitou, which is quite handy, so I'll just, I'll just take this phone call and then we'll, uh, we'll go back there. Um, so, unfortunately, if it does break down the 6930, we'll be 
be able to get get our way home if we can. So we've got, you know, it's 50k. It'll go plenty fast enough to catch up with the other tractors. Of course, one thing I was thinking about was a um, was a, was an air horn. But I never got around to putting an air horn on it for this year. But I might put an air horn on for next year. I know a lot of people have been getting into that over the last few years, but. I've just never really, I've just never really got around to putting an air horn on the tractor. Um, so I might do it next year. I could, I bought a CB for it, and there's a brand new Midlands CB radio in that workshop there. Uh, so we'll, we'll put a CB on it, either this year or next year. But it's like all these jobs you've got to, you know, with the cattle and the arable and the renewable energy, it's finding the time to do these things to try and get everything done. Now I'm finding now with the tractors, there's so many tractors on the farm and all the equipment which has got to be maintained that uh, we, were, we can't handle any more. Uh, I think one more one more John Deere next year and that'll be it. I don't want any more tractors. Um, we talked the other day about doing something with the old International, the 434. Um, and then I think if anything we'll be getting rid of tractors. There was talk of trading the 6R, getting, that, getting rid of that tractor, but it's... Uh, I said, you know, it's so, it's so valuable that tractor, especially on the bay then. Um, but we will keep the 615 on our, and we'll keep the 69 together. And uh, then we'll get a small tractor to go with it, which would be a 6430, or I have seen recently a 6125R uh, with 50k for sale at Ben Burgess. That would be quite a good, uh, good little tractor to go with it as well. Um, but really, 50 kilometres an hour, you know, all of, you know, once you've, once you've had it, and, you, and you're doing 12 mile round trips at silage, you just can't do without the 50k. Um, it is just invaluable. There's been so many tractors in the last six months I've been offered, which are 40k with low hours. But I just turn them down the whole time because on silage, you know, 40k would just limit you, and you'd be drinking a lot more diesel for less output, if that makes sense. So really, do need another 50k tractor if anything. Um, but then, like I say, that's it with John Deere. There's one more John Deere. That's it. Um, I do. I do like my Massies, I know a lot of people say about John Deere's, you know, I'm big into John Deere's, but I am a Massey guy at heart as well. I do, I prefer the old Massies over the new Massies. Um, sort of like, you know, 135, 165, 35Xs, I've got some water speed there. 35Xs, Craig Ferguson's, all that good stuff. Um, you know, some of your more modern stuff, the 6290s, 39, um, 390Ts and stuff like that, I do like as well. 6480, 7480, all that sort of stuff is cool. Never really got into the modern masses. This is certainly one of the last big jobs before the big day. The main thing over Christmas will be feeding the cattle, getting them fed, and then really being able to get time to have Christmas lunch at the same time. Of course, it's, it's always the case with farming with every farmer around the UK, especially with livestock. You know, you will you will be busy on the farm feeding them until you can open those presents. You know, have the Christmas dinner and all the rest of it. We're not actually uh, we're not having Christmas turkey this year for a change today, but we're uh, going to have some of our beef instead. We're having a nice piece of Aberdeen Angus beef, fillet of beef for the family. So uh, we just uh, thought about something different. So why not why not keep it beef? And uh, I eat a lot of beef. I eat a lot of lamb. Uh, yeah, let me know what, in the comments what you're having for Christmas dinner. Maybe turkey, or some people have goose. Obviously, lovely, uh, lovely dinner that is. You get the fat off goose. You got, you know, roast potatoes made with goose fat. There's nothing better. We will be having beef. And remember to comment in the comment section who founded Manatee. Who was that person? Leave it in the comment section down below to be in for a chance to win the Manatee goodies, of course, sent out to you just after Christmas. One thing I've really gotten used to with this telehandler is I always just have my hand on the joystick like this, but, but not like a normal joystick, just flat down on the JSM. And uh, one of the reasons I could never move away from the 630, I just really like have my hand like that all day, so easy to use. You got everything on there, you got your gears, you got your auxiliaries, boom in and out. It's just a dream. No, it really is. You got the powerful Deutz engine powering this, we've got a uh, Rexroth Bosch pump underneath. Good parts, good components, built in Europe. 
one more video on the floor. Super quick hydraulics, just like a small tailing handler. Comment down below who founded Manatee back in, I believe it was 1957. And uh, comment down below, we'll be in touch with the winner on Christmas Day. And chips now filled up. We've got the high spec dump trailer coming in next year with the rolling floor to come and fill this back up again. Of course, we will need the chipper to come in. We're going to chip about 150 tonne of wood again. And for now, it's filled up, ready for Christmas. So, with that, keep liking, keep subscribing, all of that good stuff. I'll shut these doors and I'll catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.